The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. About six months after the James Webb Space Telescope's launch, it has unveiled a new era of cosmic revelation. The initial images were awe-inspiring, but they merely marked the beginning of an ambitious mission. This endeavor promises to elevate our understanding of the universe to unprecedented heights. Beyond examining early celestial formations post-Big Bang, Webb's mission tackles the age-old query, are we alone? This $10 billion telescope scrutinizes exoplanet atmospheres and assesses their potential for habitability. Recent attention has centered on an enigmatic signal from Proxima Centauri b, raising questions of advanced extraterrestrial involvement or alternative explanations. Together, we embark on this quest for enlightenment amid the universe's wondrous discoveries. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. You might already be aware of the ancient galaxies that the telescope has identified, which, according to our understanding of cosmology, should not exist. These galaxies are so ancient that they appear to have formed a mere few hundred million years following the Big Bang, suggesting that the dark ages of the universe were not as obscure as previously thought. Astonishingly, the telescope has uncovered additional galaxy candidates that could be even older than the oldest known galaxy, currently recognized as Macy's Galaxy. As a result, the telescope's future findings remain uncertain. However, it recently captured an image that has further complicated one of cosmology's most significant enigmas. This image showcases pulsating stars within a spiral galaxy called NGC 5584, located 75 million light years away. It implies that the universe is expanding at a rate faster than what is projected by the prevailing theory in astronomy, known as the Standard Model of Cosmology, which describes the universe's evolution from its inception after the Big Bang. The significance of this image lies in the fact that it challenges our understanding of the cosmos and suggests that we may need new physics to elucidate the workings of the universe. In essence, this image has stirred considerable intrigue in the realm of science. The Hubble constant, which quantifies the rate at which the universe is expanding, stands as a fundamental parameter in unraveling the universe's evolution and its eventual destiny. To illustrate this, picture the universe as an expansive balloon, gradually enlarging over time. The Hubble constant functions as a unique numerical value that informs us of the pace at which this cosmic balloon inflates. Scientific endeavors have been underway to measure this constant through various methodologies with two principal approaches. The first method relies on distance indicators akin to gauging the speed of a distant car when its speedometer is out of sight. Instead, scientists examine how quickly celestial objects draw nearer to us, like certain types of exploding stars, supernovae, or supermassive stars that dwarf our sun. These celestial markers act as cosmic reference points, unveiling their rate of recession and thereby shedding light on the universe's expansion rate. The second approach, known as cosmic afterglow, entails peering back in time to the universe's inception, much like rewinding a film. Scientists delve into the afterglow of the Big Bang, which resembles an echo of the universe's birth. Analyzing this cosmic reverberation permits the computation of the Hubble constant based on the early universe's conditions. However, a conundrum surfaces when these two methods are separately applied as they yield disparate outcomes for the Hubble constant, a predicament termed the Hubble tension. Scientists are diligently working to decipher the root causes of this discrepancy. Enter NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with novel capabilities to scrutinize and enhance some of the most compelling observational evidence pertaining to the Hubble tension. The telescope's gaze is directed towards particular stars known as Cepheid variables, brilliant celestial beacons in space. There is a caveat, though. When scientists use ground-based telescopes or even the Hubble Space Telescope to examine these stars, they sometimes encounter adjacent stars that blur the observation, akin to trying to read a sign surrounded by distortions. Nevertheless, the crux of the issue persists. 
the universe seems to be expanding at a significantly accelerated pace compared to what scientists had anticipated based on its early state, often referred to as the cosmic microwave background. Consequently, the enigma of the Hubble tension continues to baffle scientists, prompting a crucial question. What critical pieces of the puzzle are eluding us? To arrive at an answer, we must journey back in time. Not long after the James Webb Space Telescope commenced transmitting images of distant planets and nebulae from the cosmic abyss, astronomers found themselves in a perplexing predicament. These data didn't quite align with their existing comprehension of the cosmos. Fast forward to the present, and the telescope has amassed several months of data which suggests a challenging prospect, the necessity to re-evaluate some of the foundational principles that underpin our understanding of the universe's origin and evolution. The standard cosmological model, akin to the universe's foundational guidebook, outlines a sequence of events following the Big Bang. Initially, gravity gathered denser regions of cosmic gas, birthing stars and black holes. These celestial bodies then congregated, forming galaxies. Yet, data from the James Webb Space Telescope has upended this cosmic narrative. It unveiled galaxies that defied expectations, growing exceptionally large and forming at an accelerated pace, challenging the standard model's predictions. This revelation exacerbated the long-standing enigma known as the Hubble Tension. Hopes for resolution through refined data and extensive observations were dashed. Instead, the anomalies intensified. The latest Webb Telescope data further muddles the situation, hinting that the issue may lie not in the data, but in the model itself. What compounds the unease is that over five decades, scientists have tweaked the cosmic model in response to new data, a necessary evolution grounded in scientific evidence. Yet, it might be perceived as a retrofitting of rules to fit the circumstances better. Physicists and astronomers are growing increasingly apprehensive. The standard cosmological model traces its origins to Edwin Hubble's 1920s revelation, where distant galaxies appeared to recede at an accelerating pace, implying an expanding universe and giving rise to the concept of the Big Bang. As per this model, the visible universe, encompassing us, planets and all that we can see, constitutes a mere 4% of the cosmos. The remainder is shrouded in invisibility, composed of dark matter, 27%, and dark energy, 68%, underscoring the profound mysteries yet to be unraveled. Cosmic inflation, conceived in 1981 as an adjustment to the standard model, aimed to resolve issues in an earlier Big Bang Theory iteration. This theory proposes an ultra-swift expansion of the universe immediately after the Big Bang, lasting a mere fraction of a second. While it addresses some concerns, it introduces others. According to Einstein's general relativity, mass warps space and time, implying curvature in a universe with stars and planets. However, our actual universe appears nearly flat. Distant regions, as observed from Earth, share roughly the same temperature, defying expected thermal variations. This challenges thermodynamic laws, given insufficient time for heat exchange in an expanding universe. In 2014, scientists believed they saw inflation signs in the cosmic microwave background, but it was a misinterpretation. The swift inflation of the early universe remains puzzling. Moreover, halting inflation proves elusive, it can generate numerous unconnected universes unable to interact. Some versions of this theory propose a multitude of unobservable universes, not solely due to practical constraints, but potentially due to inherent impossibility. For wave background, but it was a misinterpretation. The swift inflation of the early universe remains puzzling. Moreover, halting inflation proves elusive. It can generate numerous unconnected universes unable to interact. Some versions of this theory propose a multitude of unobservable universes, not solely due to practical constraints, but potentially due to inherent impossibility. 